Welcome to this video. We're going to learn about energy balance models in IB physics. Here's a very simple picture of a planet. This is going to be the Earth. You have the surface down here, and up here there's an atmosphere. In reality, the atmosphere extends all the way down to the surface, but we're, we're going to pretend the atmosphere is just this chunk on top. Light from the sun, solar radiation, comes in, and some of that radiation is reflected by the atmosphere. The part that doesn't get reflected proceeds down to the planet's surface. So what comes in from the sun has two choices. Either it's going to reflect off or it'll transmit right through the atmosphere. This radiation, which strikes the surface, is absorbed. The planet's surface has some temperature, and so it is radiating like a black body. We usually assume exactly that. We usually assume that the planet's surface is a black body, which means it's a perfect emitter, and it radiates according to its temperature. So it radiates some energy. Now, if the atmosphere were not here, this energy would escape back to outer space. It would go on out, and that would be the end of the story. But here's what the atmosphere does. It doesn't just reflect some at the beginning. It also has the property that these gases in the atmosphere absorb the planet's emission. And so this atmosphere heats up and it has some temperature because of that absorbed radiation. So according to the black body theory, the atmosphere emits its own radiation. The way it works out, most of this radiation goes back down toward the planet's surface. Some of it escapes to outer space, but most of it goes down. The radiation is emitted in all directions randomly, but because of this layering effect, most of it gets trapped inside. Now, we could call this intensity that's uh, incident on the atmosphere I. This value that's reflected is just the albedo times the in incident intensity. So if we take the albedo and we multiply it, we'll get the fraction of intensity, which is actually uh, reflected off. How much intensity is transmitted? What's the intensity of EM radiation that's transmitted? Well, you take the total and you subtract the reflected to get how much is transmitted. Now the atmosphere, uh, the planet, has a temperature Te, and so its, uh, its emitted radiation is given by this expression. The atmosphere has a temperature T atmosphere, and its emitted radiation, which we assume is all heading back to the surface, we, we are neglecting the amount that goes to, to outer space. So this radiation is given by the same expression. Let's take a problem. <clears throat> We've got a diagram showing a simple energy balance climate model for Earth. The assumptions we make are the atmosphere doesn't absorb any solar intensity. You see that? So the solar intensity comes in, the radiation comes in, and all of it is either transmitted or reflected. None is absorbed. The second, the Earth is a black body. That's our second assumption. And thirdly, we're assuming all of the EMR, all of the electromagnetic radiation from the atmosphere is directed toward the Earth. So we're assuming that everything that this, every, all of this radiation is going down, none of it's going up. And that's not a great assumption, but we'll make it for simplicity. The atmosphere's equilibrium temperature is 242. Okay, our first task is to state the emissivity of the atmosphere. Well, there's a lot of information, so let's take a moment to look. 350 watts per meter squared is the intensity of incoming radiation. This 245 is how much passes through. The rest of it, 105, is reflected off. Hmm. And then we have 0.7 times sigma, right, times t to the fourth. That's what the atmosphere radiates. Well, wait a second. 0.7, that right there is the emissivity of the atmosphere because the equation is radi radiated intensity equals this. And the fraction out front, the decimal out front, is the emissivity. So the answer to A is 0.7. Next, state the emissivity of the Earth's surface. Well, it says it's a black body, the surface. And this statement B right here 
should really say the Earth's surface is a black body. The word surface is missing. It should be there. So the surface has an emissivity of 1. The other way we know it has an emissivity of 1 is because the coefficient leading out front is just going to be a 1 since it's not shown. OK, finally, we calculate the albedo of the planet. And that includes the atmosphere and surface together. We know the albedo has this formula, reflected solar radiation divided by incident solar radiation. And when we define it, we use power. But in equations, we can use intensity as well. OK, so what's the reflected solar intensity? It's this amount. And what's the incident? It's this amount. Notice that nothing is reflected off the surface. Nothing is reflected off the surface. Why not? Because we assume the surface is a black body. And so all of the radiation on a black body, all of that incident radiation is absorbed. None is reflected. OK, so we do 105 over 350. And that gives 0 0.30. All right, on to part D. Calculate the intensity of radiation emitted by the atmosphere. And we're doing it based on the atmosphere's temperature. The equation is this. In this equation, the intensity, I, is always the emitted intensity. It's the radiated intensity. OK, so we plug in. The emissivity of the atmosphere is 0.7. Sigma is 5678, right? There it is, negative 8. And the temperature is 242. So we calculate, and this is 136 watts per meter squared. Next, we find the intensity of radiation that's radiated by the Earth's surface based upon the Earth's, uh, sorry, based upon energy balance. So we cannot use, note, we cannot use this equation to find the intensity that's radiated by the Earth. Why can't we use this equation? Because we don't yet know the temperature of the Earth. Look, we're going to find it in part F. We will find the temperature. So instead of using this formula, there's a second formula we can use. It's the energy balance formula, and here's that formula. If the temperature is constant, if we're in equilibrium, then the outgoing radiation from the surface has balanced the incoming radiation. If more radiation goes in than out, right? If more radi sorry, if more radiation goes in than out, then the thing is going to heat up. If more radi radiation is going out than in, then the surface will cool off. It'll uh, get go lower in temperature. But right now, they are perfectly balanced because the problem said that the Earth has some equilibrium temperature. OK, so what's going out from the surface? It's just the amount radiated right here. The radiated by surface intensity, that is what goes out from the surface. And the part going in, there's the solar. Oops. There's the solar, which is transmitted through. This 245 goes into the Earth because it hits the Earth and is absorbed. And then there's the stuff that's radiated by the atmosphere toward the Earth. Those are the two things that are going into the surface, being absorbed by the surface. So we plug in that 245 from the solar, which is transmitted, and the 136 from part D right here. That's how much is radiated. And we get 381. Finally, we find the equilibrium temperature of the surface of the Earth based on its radiated intensity. So now we can turn to this equation. The radiated intensity we just found from part E. The Earth emits 381 because that's how much goes into the Earth. And the Earth is in equilibrium for temperature. The emissivity we know is 1, and uh, sigma is 5678. So we calculate T to get 286.